President Barack Obama giving his first State of the Union address. The president speaking on a number of issues, from eliminating Don't Ask, Don't Tell to the war in Iraq and health care. Among all the topics covered tonight, the economy is the major theme. One year ago, I took office amid two wars, an economy rocked by a severe recession, a financial system on the verge of collapse, and a government deeply in debt. Experts from across the political spectrum warned that if we did not act, we might face a second depression. So we acted, immediately and aggressively. And one year later, the worst of the storm has passed. But the devastation remains. From the day I took office, I've been told that addressing our larger challenges is too ambitious. Such an effort would be too contentious. I've been told that our political system is too gridlocked and that we should just put things on hold for a while. For those who make these claims, I have one simple question. How long should we wait? I campaigned on the promise of change. Change we can believe in, the slogan went. And right now I know there are many Americans who aren't sure if they still believe we can change or that I can deliver it. But remember this. I never suggested that change would be easy or that I could do it alone. Democracy in a nation of 300 million people can be noisy and messy and complicated. And when you try to do big things and make big changes, it stirs passions and controversy. That's just how it is. President Obama admitting tonight to making mistakes, acknowledging that he suffered several political setbacks that were deserved. His is a wide-ranging speech touching on just about every issue creating controversy in this country. Jobs, government, bailouts, education, tax burdens, health care, homosexuality in the military, climate change even. 24-hour News 8 political reporter Rick Albin is here with reaction to a lot of that. And the, yeah, the analysis. first thing we want to do is go to Capitol Hill because obviously we wanted to contact our members of the House to find out how they thought the speech went. It is not surprising that those opinions come down along party lines. Obviously, he's learned something in a year. He's discovered what the real problems are, that things don't always go smoothly, that he has to work with us. He can't just sit in the White House and issue edicts and hope that we'll do it. It just doesn't work that way. It's what the American people needed to hear uh, about creating jobs and getting our people back to work. Uh, Michigan has been hammered by uh, this recession uh, like no other state and uh, our people need jobs and I think the president laid out a plan that uh, that I look forward to, to uh, getting behind. President spent a lot of time talking about jobs, 30 million dollars in new loans for small bi billion dollars, I should say, for uh, small businesses that he says will help create jobs. Also talked about eliminating capital gains tax for investment uh, in small business. Also helping to create jobs, he says, clean energy credits, doing away with tax breaks for companies who send jobs overseas, creating tax credits for those who keep jobs here. He also urged that the Senate should follow the House and passing a jobs bill, an education bill, and also an energy bill. But what the president was really doing tonight was trying to set the table to say, look, I get it. I hear it. I hear your frustration. I know you were upset. I heard it in Massachusetts. We know jobs are important. 10% unemployment is not going to cut it. Going into a midterm election when a sitting president in the first two years historically would lose seats in the House and perhaps in the Senate as well. They're trying to stem that tide. He actually made reference to the election cycle and he said we can still govern, we have to govern, and this is really uh, kind of his first opportunity after that big loss last week in Massachusetts to try to turn this around. Question is now, will any of these suggestions be implemented? Will they work? And do we go into November with a 10 percent unemployment rate? Because if that happens, that may have much bigger impact on the election than tonight's speech. 10 percent for the nation, almost 15 percent for us here in Michigan. Absolutely. All right, Rick, thanks. Thank you, Rick.